The COVID-19 pandemic has drawn attention to our individual responsibilities and of those around us. As many of us face limited international movement at this time, the importance of individual responsibility is highlighted in the role of immigration officials at points of entry. During normal times, border agencies routinely assess the changing situation at the points of entry and develop effective strategies to address any gaps identified. In these unprecedented times, this capacity is exceptionally magnified. It is therefore essential that a comprehensive response that does not leave border officials behind is implemented. After all, border officials play a pivotal role in actively contributing to national security, including health security, particularly at a time like this. Like any other frontline workers, border officials should receive the necessary support to ensure that not only they protect the lives of the travelers, but also themselves, as well as their families and the communities where they live. To this end, IOM has recently developed standard operating procedures for frontline officials in the context of COVID-19 and will be supporting immigration departments to operationalize it in countries across the globe. While they assume a different role from health workers, border officials are uniquely placed to help stop transmission within their own society and indirectly in the international community at large. We must therefore act quickly to assist frontline officials and ensure that they remain healthy and fit to carry out their duties, which ultimately protect us all. Supporting border officials should be part of the International Committee's strategy to hold the transmission of COVID-19 and ensure evidence-based decisions on future border and travel policies aimed at lifting the numerous restrictions in place. When this is all over, it is unlikely to be business as usual.